Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to Supercross from the Hood. And today we have the follow up video for Sparrow's Pinapalace Chaos. And this time we're going to be talking about their other car, the Zion. And of course, like the Chaos, this is a Greek automobile, but also unlike the Chaos, this is a supercar where the Chaos was a quote unquote ultra car and i don't know what that is but that's besides the point and i think this car is more of a concept car than that insane car is and for obvious reasons which you'll see in a few minutes and i have to say there isn't a lot known about this car i'm assuming there's going to be two different trims like the chaos and this is going to be 3D printed, but, you know, the most interesting thing about this car is the fact that it's going to be powered with um, hydrogen cells. So now, I don't know much about hydrogen engines and electric power and all that hydrogen combustible engines the differences between the two that's not my forte that hydrogen fuel cell and the fact that the car doesn't have many pictures on their website tells me that it's more concept than reality unlike the chaos but they do have stats on the website that's one thing that this website has a ton of because i can tell you this car's power it has 600 to 1750 horsepower at the top speed of 155 miles per hour to 217 miles per hour in seats five so in my mind when i first seen this picture of the car and i heard it was going to be a supercar hypercar i thought it would be you know a rival to uh, kona says jamero which is a multi-seat car it sits about four people as far as i know and this car i thought would be just like that probably even faster with the amount of horsepower it has well, it's not as fast as Kona say Jamira top speed is around 240 this car 217 which is not bad at all it's just not in the same league as the Kona say even though it does sit one more person it's also more fuel efficient than the Kona say this car has a range of 400 to 800 miles which is a freaking ton for you know a car that's hydrogen base also being electric base i still don't understand what any of that means but you know it's got better range than a combustible engine and probably better range than a lot of um, normal evs the most interesting thing for me about this car is the design because it's so different yet so similar to the cars we've seen in movies especially if you grew up in the 80s and 90s and for some reason, those cars are starting to become a reality. And it's so much so that I actually made it a video about it. How these cars are becoming more dystopian, more cyberpunk, more Blade Runner-esque. And it's kind of insane. And I don't know if it's because of the change in technology and some of the designs we can actually get out with 3D printing versus handmade, hand-built car components. It's just crazy to me and this car actually looks like it's one generation away from taking off and flying like that's that kind of nuts and you know maybe other people might see it a little different than i do they might not even like the design but yeah that is basically all the information we know about this car and let me know what you guys think are you excited about the 3d technology the hydrogen technology the fact this car could sit five people and still achieve uh 217 miles per hour you excited about the fuel efficiency and the amount of range you get with this car let me know in the comments and with that said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace